picture. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Let me welcome you to the seventh lecture of our course on data analytics for students of social studies and uh, humanities. Since the term, in other words, since our course is scheduled for 14 weeks, we are halfway through. Uh, regarding homework assignments, I hope uh, that uh, you are keeping in touch uh, with uh, Sylvia Cinkova and uh, Jirka Mirovsky. And today I will assign you the homework number four. Let me share my screen. I hope that you can you can see you can see the the very first page of my presentation. In this course, our ambition is to tell the story of data. You know how to get data, how to gather the data, how to visualize data, uh, how to analyze them. Working, for example, with uh, with text, uh, you know how to process them, how to view them, and how to search them. And today I will be speaking about sharing data, sharing data, and namely sharing data in repositories. Let me just remind you defi the definition of data and uh, metadata. Data, it's simply, it's simply information in digital form for computer processing. And we are working with, and with the forms of textual data, audio data, video, image, and software. And metadata are data about data. Here, this is just a reminder you are familiar with with the, the andre amazon archive in in details therefore uh, it, it is it is just a reminder so the, the data is a, is a collection of letters and postcards originally uh, originally in the form of images as a result of digitization and uh, later on uh, you transcribed some of uh, some of the documents, and uh, so data are in uh, or this this date this data or this at least part of the archive is in a textual form. So here I provide you with with the screenshot from uh, the the tool TayTalk. You were working with uh, two weeks ago. And as you can see on the left, uh, there is a. Or let's start with the, with the with the image. So this is the original original letter, and on the left uh, there is a there is a transcribed version of 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 this letter. Right. So we have a data set of text of documents, and here in this table, uh, this table describes or we can read the, in this table the metadata. In other words, information describing the data set, date, type of document, language, and, and so on and so on. I, so my plan is to speak about uh, sharing data in, in repositories, in data repositories. What is what is data repository? It is a digital in it's very the definition is very or description is very simple, and it is a digital infrastructure to share data. In other words, uh, it is infrastructure to preserve data and help others to find them. Uh, there, there are many, many data repositories for various subjects. And here I provide you with two links, uh, and you can you can search so you can you can search these databases and see the, the variety of variety of uh, repositories and, and data sets uh, being uploaded into these repositories. 
uh, in uh, today I will be speaking uh, about the Lindat repository in in great detail. Uh, you can uh, in uh, in parallel with, with me you can you can open the link uh, or uh, link uh, lindat.cz and to to see the content and uh, uh, immediately you can you can play with uh, with. The catalog and tools uh, that the uh, both presented uh, in the repository. Uh, the, the the name uh, Lindat uh, it's it's an actually it's an acronym uh, it, and it coming from uh, linguistic data, and it reflects the original idea to have a repository uh, to have a repository for linguistic data only. But now the content is not only linguistic one, but uh, you can you can see their data sets uh, of non-linguistic uh, linguistic data sets. Uh, most of them focusing uh, on on who or having uh, humanities content. Uh, uh, here is the here is the. Uh, screenshot from uh, from the web page say uh, i'm speaking about linda repository uh, and here you can read linda slash claria uh, cz uh, so to to explain the relationship between linda and linda claria linda claria cz is is a, is a is a research is a large research infrastructure and uh, Linda repository is, is uh, one of uh, one of its results. Uh, I would say the the main one, and uh, it is uh, considered as a check date date. As it is it's it's being considered a check center for data, providing certified storage and natural language processing services. Before we uh, we will be exploring uh, Linda repository, let me briefly explain uh, me what I mean by linguistic or language data and what I mean by linguistic or language tools. Uh, linguistic data are resources for linguistics research and for applied. Uh, this science called uh, natural language processing. Uh, one of so, res so resources, corpora, uh, corpora and annotated corpora uh, represent uh, language resources. Here, here I present you uh, corpus called SYN version 9, and it is a corpus of uh, contemporary written check that contains almost uh, 6 billion tokens, and it, uh, it contains a wide variety of text types like, like fiction, non-fiction, newspapers, uh, but definitely the newspapers uh, dominate this collection, and the, 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 the text, the documents, cover mostly the period uh, starting uh, 1990s until 2012. This is a collection of texts. Uh, when we add some linguistic information, we speak about uh, annotated corpora, uh, Czech Nantity Corpus is, uh, is uh, actually the first publicly available corpus, providing a large body of manually annotated name entities in Czech sentences. Three banks, uh, three banks, uh, three banks are annotated corpora as well, and uh, as Three plus banks. So banks means means a collection of uh, of, uh, of some data, and and trees. It uh, it uh, tree uh, relate to syntactic uh, representation or syntactic analysis of sentences. Here you can see a link. 
uh, to the lecture uh, given by uh, given by Jirka Mirovsky and Sylvia Cinkova two weeks ago, and Sylvia presented you uh, a, a universal dependencies uh, framework to represent uh, the, not only morphological information by, but syntactic information as well. As a reminder, here you can see a sentence. She left a note on the table and uh, uh, each and uh, this sentence uh, has, a, has the following uh, dependency tree represented according to the universal dependencies, uh, dependencies uh, guidelines. So he, each node corresponds to uh, one token in the sentence. And using the errors, we visualize dependency relation between the given two words. So tree banks is a belong to the family of, uh, of annotated corpora. And here is the example of, of universal. And one of them is uh, universal dependency, dependency tree banks. Uh, yeah, it is a project that uh, that uh, seeks to that that uh, that seeks to develop uh, cross linguistically consistent syntactically annotated corpora for for many many languages. Lexicons uh, 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 again, just an ex an example. Uh, Bosworth Stoller's Anglo-Saxon Dictionary Online. And it is a dictionary of, of Old English. And this dictionary records the state of the English language as it was used in the period of between 700 and, and 1100 uh, by the Anglo-Saxon inhabitants in the British, in the British Isles. Uh, I present you an examples of, uh, of linguistic data. But at the same time, uh, it is uh, it is a teaser uh, to to for for the Lindat repository. But as you can see, uh, these cards uh, are not manually created. Uh, these are screenshots taken from from the from the Lindat repository, and together with these cards, I provide you with uh, with uh, with an URL links. So immediately you can you can get more information about the given language resources. Linguistic tools. So as I so so as I as I said, data uh, date in general data uh, include not only um, sim simply information for digital processing and linguistic language tools software uh, are, are data and uh, uh, these tools uh, are for natural language processing uh, again two weeks ago Sylvia introduced you to the tool uh, to the tool of UD pipe for automatic syntactic analysis according to the universal dependencies uh, dependency guidelines uh, machine translation is a big chapter of, uh, of the natural language processing and uh, also here I list uh, another tool called name tag uh, this is a tool for name for an automatic name uh, named entity recognition in other words to detect uh, name entities and classify them uh, classify them into the classes like uh, personal names uh, geographical names names of in institutions and so on for for lexicons uh, uh, we have a collection of data but to to to, to search them uh, we need uh, some tools for for searching so for example for uh, for morphological analysis uh, there is a tool called morphodata uh, that uh, that uh, that is doing both morphological analysis and 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 synthesis 
for syntax, uh, uh, you can you can find in the Lindat repository valence lexicons for both Czech and English. And going uh, up to one more layer in, in language description, going to, to semantics, uh, you can, you can um, discover there uh, the lexicon since some class. In, in other words, uh, it is a lexicon, it is a, a synonym verb lexicon, uh, where the data are represented uh, like uh, in, in a form of event type ontology. Uh, having uh, so not only tools for working with, with lexicons, but we need tools for searching uh, searching uh, corpora. And uh, you are familiar with, with the Taytalk tool. And uh, here I list uh, uh, another tools like the context the, the context tool or a tool for searching in syntactically annotated uh, corpora, the tool called PMLTQ. Uh, the, the linguistic language tools, they like, like data sets, they can be downloaded, uh, can be downloaded from the repository and users install them. At, uh, at their at their computing environment, uh, and they run the tools locally, locally, or they, or for sure, uh, they can use other computing facility, or they can they can uh, uh, download them into cloud and and uh, and uh, run, uh, run them in in the cloud. Uh, let me let me make a small terminological step aside uh, because I would like to explain you uh, or describe you another software uh, that we are working with or or not not, not different software but uh, the ways we can run uh, run linguistic tools. And we distinguish three terms, tools, that's what I just described to you, applications and services. Applications uh, means web application uh, that uh, we can access uh, through the web browsers. And uh, some people call them uh, demo. Uh, so you you run or you open or you run a web browser and uh, you can you can open a web application page and typically there is a window where you can enter your data or sentences or paragraphs and uh, there, there is some button uh, for running the uh, for running the application and do too. So let me illustrate it. Uh, I visit I visit this page, Linda Services. I hope that now you can see a tab with uh, with uh, Linda Services. Yes or not? Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you, uh, Linda Services. And let me go down to see name tag. Uh, so th there is a, there is a card for the name tech name tech tool uh, the, the with the description and using this button run we can immediately enter the text uh, we want to process so let me go back to my presentation and oh, sorry and I'll copy this this sentence. Now let's go back to uh, this window. Uh, we here we this is the, the the English sentence. So let me change uh, change the model we want to use, and then let's simply process input. And here we can see uh, the output of 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 the procedure. Name tag recognize three named entity or four named entities in, in this sentence. 
Bohumil Veselý, personal, the, the, the personal name, Školská street, street, geographical name, location, Prague location, and new town, town location. Right? So it's, it is a very comfortable way how to, how to not only demonstrate what a given tool is, is doing, but to process uh, a, a, a reasonable, reasonable amount of data. So this is the this is one way how to run a tool remotely using the web applic using a web application. And services, language tools versus services. Uh, the the services run uh, are running uh, twenty four slash seven. In other words, all the time, and uh, each service has its application, right? So, what we, for example, for a name tag, for the name tag tool, uh, there is a tool name tag, there is a web application or demo how to to, to run it, and then a service. Then we can we can uh, run it remotely by calling scripts, or you can include include. Uh, the, the calling this uh, a given service in 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 your own code. Uh, definitely, there is no space and no motivation to to dive into the technical details how how it it works. But uh, you should at least have a uh, rough idea that uh, uh, that uh, application programming inter interface, so called API. Uh, this is a Technique uh, how to how to call uh, how to call uh, call a given a given service. Right? So it is a software that that allows uh, uh, to, to to allows two applications to talk to each other. In other words, it is a client server communication and client send, sends sends request and server repents response. So for example, every time you are checking the weather on your phone, you are using an app. In other words, you are uploading data from some service running somewhere. Uh, here, is, here is the illustration how to, uh, how to use uh, an app of, of the name tech service. And, uh, uh, just to again, just to have a rough idea, what does it mean? So here you are. Uh, it's the way how to how to run a service, how to run a name tag service. Uh, here we specify an input data. In other words, it is a, it is a file of sentences to be processed. And here, using this parameter, we specify an output format. In this case, uh, the, the the output is represented in uh, uh, in a form that each token is on a, on a separate line, and by the word we can we can read an, we can read a, a name entity classification. Going back to uh, to to this web page. Oh here, uh, oh here, here we we actually, uh, oh here we cannot read the the uh, the column the column format. This is a formatting formatting that we can read the tokens. And uh, here, for example, Skolska Street. So here there is a an element, or uh, uh, saying that here starts a name a name entity that name tag recognized. And it is a type of, and its type is location. Okay, so so this is just uh, this is just the the terminologically what we mean by tools, what we mean by uh, by applications and services. 
as as I already said, uh, we can uh, find uh, non-linguistic content in the, in the Lindet uh, repository as well. Uh, just for illustration, uh, here I present you the data set, uh, uh, the data set of, of uh, film segments uh, that, uh, that comes from, uh, from Bohumil Veseli. Bohumil Veseli, he was a remark remarkable person who dedicated his life to film collecting and amateur film production. And his collection, his gallery at Lindat, consists uh, of a series of almost 800 film segments that capture famous figures of Czechoslovak public life uh, in the first 60 years of the 20th century. Yeah. And uh, one of the uh, interesting or famous figures of, of the time uh, was uh, Karel, Kuželo, Karel Koželuch. And uh, he was a top Czech uh, tennis, soccer, and ice hockey player. And uh, but he never played uh, uh, in the major tournaments of amateur tennis. But he was definitely uh, an all-around athlete at the highest level. And uh, let let's see let's see how uh, how he was teaching uh, tennis at his tennis school in Horní Leboč. Leboč. I hope that uh, let me press this button and we will see. It's a very short movie. It's a 50 second long movie. <laughs> yeah. uh, so definitely this collection is, 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 really, is, is really amazing. Uh, also, uh, there is a there is a uh, there is a, a content or there are there are data sets of uh, of images. Uh, just for illustration, uh, Danish Danish Fungi 2020, and it is a it is an image data set constructed from observations to to submit uh, or submitted to the Danish uh, Fungi Atlas. And if you if you pick uh, mushrooms and you have doubts about a mushroom mushroom, you can check uh, check it automatically using some system of automatic fungi recognition. And this data set uh, uh, can serve as a training data set uh, for such uh, systems of uh, automatic uh, fungi recognition. Right. So it's. No, no doubt that it is that, that, that it is not a, a, a linguistic content. It is not even a humanities content, uh, but it is a data set uh, data set uh, useful for machine learning algorithms. So now I hope that you have a picture what you can find in in the in the Lindat uh, repository and uh, let's uh, let's uh, go there uh, you can you can uh, there are actually two ways how to get in into the repository uh, you can uh, or visit uh, this web page and there is a big uh, big uh, search window uh, where the first item is a catalog, and immediately you can you can write down any anything you you search for, and then this big red button redirects you to uh, to a list of search results. Or you can you can go there without using this search window. And uh, the, the the address is lindacz slash repository. Uh, repository items or records, uh, as I said, uh, sorry, as I said, uh, 
you 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 type uh, you type some some words of simply what you are looking for then you push this button and you get the list of of uh, search results and results are uh, represented uh, represented uh, the search is there are two actually two not uh, the, sorry. Uh, this is the the, the the, here is the represent, representation of, of one particular uh, research result. Uh, this, the, this, this card, what we can see here, we, what we can see in, in the card. So first, here is the title, then uh, the, the publisher. This is the annotated corpus, tree bank, called Czech Legal Text Tree Bank, version 0.2. It was published by our faculty, Faculty of Mathematics and Physics, uh, five, almost five years ago. Here you can see the authors. We publish it uh, with, together with, uh, with, uh, with my student. Then uh, here is the visualization of the type of, of, uh, of, 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 of item. And uh, here we can read the licenses, information about licenses. And here, here is the information, how many files or how, how many files uh, you can upload and uh, or download, sorry, and uh, what, uh, what, uh, what is their, their size. So this is a basic view on, on a search result. But for sure, more information about a given data set is included. Uh, I am afraid that you can you can you cannot read it well, but uh, here here is a screenshot of uh, of a detailed view. Uh, so uh, there is a definitely the description, language of the data set, uh, some acknowledgments, and and so on, and even one more click you have to do to see a complete information about the data set. And uh, all these information uh, represent metadata about the, uh, about the data set Czech Legal Text Tree Bank. Right. So here are the, the, the basic ones or key ones. M more information is provided here and show full item record a complete list of metadata uh, for, for, the, for a given data set uh, is, is available. And uh, uh, files to download, in other words, to, to download the data set uh, when uh, there is a big button saying or with the title download instructions for command line and here are, are, are the metadata about the data set so the, the given corpus Czech language text tree bank is uh, uh, is uh, represented as a zip archive here we can read its size and uh, other information and and even more uh, using the preview, we can see the structure of folders. No, but you, you can you can uh, have only only one file uh, to download or a zip archive, and it's the, it, it typically corresponds to a uh, to a, to a diary or folder structure. And uh, you can before you download the data, uh, you can see the structure of 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 of, of the of the folders. Uh, we distinguish, uh, I am saying we because I, uh, because the Linda repository is, is being developed at our institute and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be member of this institute. So that's the reason why, why I am using we. Uh, so we distinguish, uh, we distinguish uh, four types of, of data. Uh, uh, first corpus that that's what we already already seen. For example, here 
uh, Czech legal tax tree bank is, is a corpus or here a corpus of images, Danish fungi. Uh, yes, universal dependency tree bank, it's a corpus, Czech named entity corpus, corpus large, corpus of written Czech uh, sin version, version nine. So, cor so corpora, corpus refers to, to text, speech, and multimodal corpora. So not only, not only uh, cor collections of text, collections of speeches, but for example, uh, you can find there a corpus called Parcheck and both stenographic protocols and, and audio recordings are included into the, the data set. Uh, then we distinguish uh, lexical conceptual resources uh, that include uh, lexica, ontologies, dic dictionaries, simple word or uh, some word list. For example, here, uh, here is the, a, the link or the, the, the item or basic item, basic view on the, on the item of in English Valencia lexicon. And uh, then uh, language description, uh, it uh, refers to language models and, and grammars. Uh, here we can see name tag two models, uh, name tag version version two. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a procedure, it's machine learning based procedure and uh, it requires models to run the, mo the model. If you remember uh, when I uh, demonstrated you uh, running of name tag, uh, I selected English models to, to, uh, to process English, English text. And two services or so technology, two technology software tools, uh, here is the, 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 the image of, of hardware. And uh, for, for illustration, morphodata data, uh, that includes not only morphological tagger, but, but uh, tagger as well, tagger for part of speech uh, classes uh, disambiguation. Well, so we know what uh, what repository we are searching for. Uh, we know what content uh, is in in this in this repository. Uh, what 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 types? Uh, what data we can expect there? And uh, now let's see what you can do with the with the repository. There are three main activities what to do to search the repository, download the data, some data sets to use and store data. Let's start with searching, searching, uh, searching the repository. Big searching window and uh, use this menu item catalog and uh, let's see which three banks are in the in the repository before we type uh, word tree bank and then search mm. here you can see the list of results and each of them uh, represents a basic view on, uh, on a data item. Here is a card for Czech legal tax tree bank. Here is a card for Prague Czech English dependency tree bank version 0.2 core for core reference. And uh, in total for this word, uh, we can see that there are more than 100 results. In other words, we 
can see a list of 100, more than 100 cards. To faceted search, faceted search allows users to find resources in an intuitive way. Each facet selection reduces the number of resources that fall into the selected categories. Here we can see the, the categories uh, that we can use to, to, select, to select the results. Author, subject, rights, language, type, whether it contains files or not, a research community. So here I just illustrate you that we can uh, we can uh, we can reduce the, the the number of resources uh, that uh, are, for example, or the three banks, uh, German three banks, or you can specify a language uh, we are interested in. So very in intuitive and uh, and user friendly search. Uh, search data in the in the repository. Downloading data uh, the some data uh, re, or some some data sets uh, require logging into into the repository and some of them not. Again, if you check uh, the Lindat uh, web page and uh, on, the, on the right, uh, you can see uh, this menu and uh, one of the, the item is login. And login is not required, required when downloading data, uh, when downloading the license of which allows free sharing. So if, if, uh, if you are downloading the data with uh, typically Creative Commons licenses or open access licenses, you don't have to log in. You simply, uh, you simply download the data and, uh, and that's it. Very, uh, very comfortable, very comfortable way. However, there are some, uh, some data sets that require license agreement to be signed. And in such situation, you have to log in. So for example, this data set, Prague Czech English Dependency Tree Bank, Coref, uh, there is a restricted use. And uh, you can see that, there is, that, that the item contains uh, one file. And to immediately, when you push this button to download the file, you are immediately redirect to a login to a login uh, uh, to, to login page. Uh, login. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's again very user friendly. You find an academic uh, institution or your home institution you know, uh, you trust, and uh, and you have an account there. And then you uh, continue with the with the login name and login password you use in your in your institution. In other words, you don't have to create a new login name and uh, a new new password. You simply use what you have. If there is a no in no such institution, uh, in a, uh, you 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 are so called a homeless researcher. It is a word that, that, that is used in, in, in the com community, and uh, you can create a, a, a Clarin account. And here I provide you a link uh, where you can create uh, uh, an account. Right? So nothing is lost. 
when there is a no, when if you don't have a home institution, you trust, uh, and uh, you you can create a, a so-called clarin clarin account. Right. So, so that's it's uh, it's simply uh, downloading data and storing data. Uh, one aspect is a is a technical one. How to upload? Uh, how to apply? Uh, sorry. How to uh, upload a data set into the repository? Uh, but before before I I present you a technical way of uploading data set, uh, let me let me explain you why it makes sense to upload data set. How, how, why to upload a data set? In other words, why to create a new record, a new item in the, in the repository? So first of all, your work is visible. For example, if we use a Google search and we search for Prague Dependency Tree Bank, we can see that the second search result is a link uh, to to a data set. So so uh, the, the content of 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 uh, Linda repository, uh, or in other words, the Google search indexes also the contact of the, the content of of the Linda Linda repository. Uh, to to get credit for what you have done or to encourage people to credit data, uh, we, in the, the part of, uh, of uh, the information provided for a data set uh, is, uh, contains uh, citation. Right? So citation, uh, not only for, for word processors, this one, and also for example, for, for LaTeX, LaTeX users, uh, here you can see a BibTeX item. And uh, also it is, it is integrated uh, with, uh, with a Google score. So uh, you can see the data sets you created or you were a member of the team that created a data set and uh, you can see the citation or these items in the, in the, in the Google Scholar Citation database. So your work is visible. Uh, even more, your work is permanently visible. Uh, here, uh, here I present some metadata about the Czech Legal Text Tree Bank. And here is an item called item identifier. And it is a persistent identifier of this data set. In other words, it is a stable reference. No matter what happens with the data, they can be physically changed from one space to another one. But using this persistent identifier, you always get the data. And uh, you can see you can see that uh, this link is all is included in in the in the citation. And uh, important information is that this persistent identifier PID uh, always leads to the metadata. So it doesn't it doesn't. Uh, it uh, it leads to it, it doesn't lead to to a data set to to files, uh, but it uh, it uh, it leads to to the metadata. Uh, another reason why to upload data sets into a repository, why to create an item is that you your work can can uh, make other people people happy uh, they they can reuse 
uh, reuse your data for their own experiments or they can replicate your experiments or, or do, uh, do some new research respecting uh, licenses, licenses uh, of, of the data for sure. And uh, definitely, definitely we support open data sharing. You know? Open data sharing, namely uh, open access, open access uh, to, uh, to the data. Open access is a, is a broad international movement uh, that uh, seeks to grant free and open online, uh, and la online access to academic information, such as publications and data, speaking about repositories, so uh, free and open access to, to data. Uh, a, a publication is is defined is defined as an open access one if uh, there are, there are no financial legal or technical barriers to to access it in other words it says that anyone can read download copy distribute know, print search uh, 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 print search uh, given publication. Right. So that, that's the open access uh, uh, approach or strategy. And here I provide you with a very nice uh, short uh, five minute uh, movie uh, that explains, uh, explains uh, an idea of, an, of uh, the open access, open access approach. And for sure, when you upload data into the, the repository, your work is, is safe. They are regular on both on and off-site backup, so you don't have to worry that your data will be lost. So for sure, if you create any data set, you can keep it locally at your, uh, at your uh, computer, at your drive. Uh, but uh, I just uh, listed a number of reasons uh, to upload data in, into the into the repository. Uh, so, to, so technically, uh, the, the strategy to upload data or to store data into into the Linda repository. Uh, we can describe it uh, very shortly. Simply upload the data and don't. Don't worry. Uh, again, on the uh, on the main web page, uh, there is a big button uh, with the deposit uh, with the deposit name. So just click it, and that's the moment where the submission procedure starts. Uh, uh, but the, the submission procedure starts. And uh, the uh, submission procedure is designed as a, let's say, nine-step procedure. First, you have to log in. You have to log in and uh, then go to submissions and start a new submission. First, you select the data type, then you fill in the, the metadata. In other words, you describe a new item. Then you upload the files, select license. You can fill any information for the uh, for the editors. Then uh, you uh, can check all the information you you edit, and then submit the item uh, to the editors for re for review. And the editors will get back you with uh, with uh, with. Uh, most typically with the, with uh, with uh, publishing the data, and if there are some question marks or questions, they get uh, they uh, they will get back to, uh, to you with uh, some additional uh, additional additional questions. And uh, there is a there is a frequent answer questions page. 
uh, so uh, you can you can uh, for sure you can you can uh, get the help uh, in 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 this in this in this page. Uh, also, if you are, for example, working or annotating some data and uh, you create, uh, you start with the version number one, then you do some editing uh, data or you add some more uh, annotations, uh, so you create a, a new version you can upload all the versions into, into the system. And even more, uh, you have a, there is a nice uh, overview of all the versions related to, related, simply related. Right? So uh, all the versions are pre preserved. And uh, uh, for each version, each version is a new item. In, in, in the repository, it means that uh, it, uh, it has a new uh, persistent identifier, new citation, but for each version, we know, we get, we know the list of all the versions uh, uh, available in the repository. For example, for uh, the, the universal dependency tree bank, uh, here is, the, here is uh, the information about the latest version, but here uh, under the title other versions, list of versions, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, get, uh, or we can uh, be, re be, be remo uh, re redirect uh, to all the versions available in Lindot repository. So it's it's uh, again it is a very user friendly and very important I would say very important feature uh, to see all the versions of the of the data set. Uh, also, uh, there is a connection between data sets and services. For example, Prague Dependency Tree Bank, uh, that is the largest uh, annotated corpus of Czech. And uh, if you check uh, it in, in, uh, in, in the repository, uh, you can see this part or this information saying that this resource is also in integrated in following services, data. So you know a TATOC as a corpus, an online corpus manager, uh, up, uh, enabling uh, corpus uh, creation, corpus annotation, uh, and, and, and many other activities. And Prague Dependency Tree Bank, you can view it or search it in TATOC. So here is a, here is the uh, the paytok is a one of uh, Linda, uh, one of the services um, making available by Lindat, and here is a link to paytok and to the Prague Dependency Tree Bank. Right. So uh, so you when you when you find when you find uh, this corpus in, in, in the Lindat repository, you can immediately uh, check its content uh, using, using TATOC. Uh, you, can, you can browse it. Uh, again, you can specify uh, which selection criterion you, you would like to use. If we go to this or to all the documents, here we can see a list of files in, in this corpus. And let's click uh, on uh, let's click on one of them. And here you can see this document. Uh, you can see that uh, 
this uh, document is annotated. So we have an information on part of speech classes, on um, uh, basic forms and, uh, and other attributes. That's exactly what uh, Jirka Mirovsky uh, demonstrated to you two weeks ago. Also, you can search it uh, using the Corpus Workbench, ben, Workbench Query Language. Again, Jirka, Jirka did a very nice uh, demonstration uh, how to search the corpo, the corpora using this language. Uh, again, then uh, you can use uh, PMLTQ, it's another search tool uh, to, to, ser to search the corpus. Here are the examples of, of queries and uh, you can copy if we copied this query into this window and uh, run executive query, then we can see that it, it's running. So definitely the connection, uh, the, 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 the connection from data sets uh, to, to uh, services, uh, it's, it's, uh, it definitely increases uh, user comfort. In other words, you don't have to download the data set first, then you have you don't have to uh, download uh, uh, some corpus manager and open the, the corpus in the in the manager. Everything happens online and everything happens in your web browser. So, uh, so we see uh, not only uh, not only text sentences, uh, but the, the the annotations on on uh, on on morphological, syntactic, and tectogrammatical layer. Uh, so connection connection to to services very useful feature uh, included in in the Linda in the Linda repository. Uh, so to to sum up this this part, I'll present it to I'll present it to the Lindot repository, and uh, this repository uh, confirms so-called fair data principle. F stands for findable, A stands for accessible, I stands for interoperable, and R stands for reusable. In details, what what uh, what does it mean? Accessible or sorry, findable. Uh, findable means that uh, uh, that the, the data uh, that you can find the data. Data are data data are visible, and uh, you can you can find them, and uh, you can find both metadata and data. And to and once we find the data, uh, we can re replicate experiments. We can get the data for our research for uh, for anything what we have on our on on mind. Then accessible accessible means that uh, that the data data are archived in uh, in a long term in in a long term storage. And then, uh, then can be made available using standard technical procedures. Uh, so we, uh, so we, the information on uh, how the data could be accessible or retrieved uh, is 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 available or has to be available if we are speaking or if we are building a repository uh, according to to the fair data principles. Interoperable means uh, that the data can be exchanged. One of the main reasons why we share data, because we want data to be exchanged and, uh, and to be used uh, across uh, different uh, applications and systems. And not only now, but also in the, in the future. And it also means that the data can be integrated with other data uh, from in, in the same research field or, or in any different research field. Uh, 
right? And uh, this, this is made possible by using metadata standards. Right? So I'm not speaking about the technical details, uh, but for sure the, the, the format for metadata uh, has to, has to uh, confirm, confirm data, data standards. And uh, reusable means that the data are, are documented and are, are well documented and created, and uh, that the rich information uh, about the, the data creation is, is available. And uh, not, only, not only the metadata, but uh, data should, uh, should conform the, the community, community standards as well. So fair, fair principles, fair data, data principles. And uh, yeah, I have already uh, uh, show, showed you the, the, the frequently asked questions uh, uh, web page, so you can you can uh, use it when you are not sure how to do uh, or if you want to get more details on uploading on uploading or downloading data sets and both uploading and down, downloading and submitting submitting data sets. Uh, now it's a it's a right time to to assign you homework number four, and it concerns uh, Lindat repository. Uh, there are two exercises in, uh, in in the assignment, and the first one is on exploring Lindat repository, uh, and so please uh, explore the repository and uh, select data set uh, that interests you the most. And I would like to hear the reasons why you are interested in, in a given data set. So in other words, explain, explain your reasons and also explain uh, what you would like to use uh, a given data set. And uh, point C is it's a, it's, a, it's an optional optional subtask, uh, saying that if you have enough space on your hard drive or in your cloud storage, download uh, this data set and examine it examine it carefully, and uh, also describe the details about uh, about the data set. And the and, uh, the the second exercise uh, is uh, is a dry run is a dry run to in other words to train the Linda submission procedure. Uh, so please select any data set you have and you would like to share. Uh, you don't have to uh, care about whether an people can see it useful or not. I suppose that you have some, uh, uh, for example, uh, Excel spreadsheets with uh, some information. And uh, let's, let's train, uh, let's train the, the, the uploading, uploading this file uh, into, into the Lindat repository. Here in this tab, I'm on our, our course web page, and here is a tab credit and uh, homework, uh, homework number four. And I don't provide you with a PDF file like in the previous assignments, but I provide you with a Word document. Can you see the, this Word document or not? Hello. 
Uh, we can't no, see it yet. No, we can't see anything. You you cannot see. What? Uh, oh, you can see still the, the presentation in Google form, right? Okay, so let me stop sharing and I will share uh, this Word document. Now I, I now I hope that you can see the fourth homework assignment for our course. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And so here are the exercises. And here you can see a form, a submission form. So please uh, add your answers into this document. Fill in, in, in this form and then send me this document or you can convert it into a PDF. Uh, send uh, send uh, it to me by by next next Tuesday. So, are there any questions to this assignment? Is everything clear? Clear? I can already see the file being shared. Uh, I mean, uh, on 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 the web. It's, you, you, it's already you, in credits. You have uploaded it there and I can see it. Uh, I think everybody can see it if you refresh the web page in your browser. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes, perhaps uh, I will have one question. Okay. Uh, it's not clear to me how is it with the data set. Uh, could I, for example, make it up if I don't have any suitable document or some spreadsheet for this or yeah sure yeah sure you can you can create a data set uh, you are not supposed to submit a data set you are supposed to submit met metadata uh, about uh, about data set right uh, but definitely Definitely, it makes sense to have some data set with you. And if there is uh, there is no such data set, uh, you can you can you can create. Okay, and uh, that information contained in the data set uh, mm -hmm. uh, does it? Do we need to provide some uh, true and useful information in there, or? No, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I do understand your question. Uh, uh, you can, uh, for example, you can have a collection of Czech jokes. Yeah. And uh, so I, I can see the, I think that it could be useful, such data said, uh, but uh, definitely you can, uh, it, it's not so, the, the, the content itself is not important as as uh, not so important as as the information about the data set that that's that's uh, the main motivation is to is to provide information about some data set and the the, the content itself is not so important okay thank you may, does it make, make sense Yes, yes, because mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering, I think I have access to some data sets, but they are, it, it's not mine, so I'm not sure uh, if I'm allowed to put it somewhere to lend it or anything. Yes, so you are, you are not, uh, you don't, you are not supposed to upload data into Linda. It's just dry run. So, ah, so okay, if, yes, yes, no, no, I see. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. 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 So it's just for just to uh, have that experience about yes. uploading yeah. some file there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It's a, Thank it's you. A, it's, a it's a train. It's a training exercise. Yes. Okay. So it won't be published. Uh, no. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> no. No. No problem. Uh, I have a question too. If okay. okay. Uh, should we uh, just fill out the submission form on here, like on the document that you uploaded on the website, or should we um, do it like actually on the Linda um, website? No, uh, please go to go to go to our web uh, go to our website, download this Word document. 
fill it in and send it to me. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> And for sure, if you are not, uh, if uh, uh, definitely you, you should provide an information about licenses. And if you are not sure, please email, email me and we can discuss it with Jana Planjova Valatanovic. Uh, she, she had very nice talk on licensing data last week. So we can discuss, if you are not sure, definitely we can discuss, the, discuss this issue because it's, it's very important and the practical information, uh, the practical uh, experience is, is important uh, as well. So email me anytime, anytime you, you simply don't know what to do or what, what should be, uh, what should be filled in, 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 uh, in a document. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And now let's go back to my presentation. Uh, so that's the information on uh, on, ho on homework. And uh, I, I highlighted uh, the fact that uh, your work, when you uh, upload it into a repository, is visible and is permanently visible. But uh, I should add one more information. Uh, how, how your data uh, are visible. And uh, this activity is uh, called is called harvesting uh, metadata. Uh, in, in the Lindat repository, we have data sets and we have metadata describing, uh, describing uh, the data sets. And uh, harvesting metadata means that the metadata from various sources, in other words, from various repositories, are collected at some place, they are, uh, they are available and they are searchable. Uh, they are, again, this process uh, has to confirm uh, some technological uh, standards. If I just provide you with the, with the so-called OAIPMH uh, protocol, that the protocol for metadata harvesting uh, that uh, specifies, specifies the way repositories uh, should expose their metadata for, for others to, to harvest. And Clarin uh, virtual language Reposit oh, sorry, not repository observatory is an example of the place uh, uh, or the server that harvests metadata for many many resources. Clarion is a, is a digital infrastructure that offers data, tools, and services uh, to for for language research. And it operates through through the national centers all over Europe. And Lindat, uh, Lind, the the research infrastructure Lindat Claria CZ is uh, is one of the centers. And uh, uh, they they run virtual or uh, Clarin uh, runs virtual language observatory, and that provides multiple views on metadata for linguistic data and, and software. And it is, uh, you, can, you can see it as an overview of, of, of both overview of data, of, of data and tools uh, available at, at the, the national centers. Uh, here is just the, the screenshot from this, uh, this uh, virtual language observatory. I and just to see 
which data and which tools uh, being uh, being in the in the Lindet repository are findable uh, findable in this observatory. Therefore, I type uh, Lindet in this search window, and immediately here I get I get the list of tools and data coming from the Lindat, Lindat uh, repository. So in total, there are 526 results. And for each result, we can see the metadata. Metadata with title, with the description, uh, licensing information. And here is a link to the Lindat repository where we can upload data. Again, they or like like in the Lindat, uh, the they use um, faceted, faceted search, and uh, we can browse. And we don't. And we using this uh, this facets, uh, we can browse. We can browse the metadata uh, from from the various uh, data data providers. And yeah, and as I already said. Uh, whenever possible, uh, links were created to the links were created or the links that point to uh, resource uh, are are uh, available. And uh, my recommendation is that uh, definitely uh, visit uh, visit this observatory, and uh, uh, and uh, it's very rich. Uh, rich uh, collection, rich collection of metadata, and using and through this this observatory, you can discover more and more data. Then, then uh, definitely, Lindat content is just subset of uh, of this of this observatory. Okay, so that's that's all what I wanted to say about uh, sharing data, about the the motivation to to share data, and how to how to technically uh, share data into the Linda repository, and how to find more data uh, using the the technology uh, or using the the harvesting metadata. We have time for questions, suggestions, comments. Yeah, maybe I, I would ask a question. You mentioned Parcheck. Yes. Uh, could you perhaps uh, um, tell us more into detail about this type this of corpus or is it corpus? I, I'm sorry if I'm not using proper it is a corpus. Yeah, you are absolutely right. It is an annotated corpus. Uh, okay, so let me let me share my screen. Okay, so let's go to Linda CZ. And let's use this search window and our check search. And here uh, we can see a list of of results that uh, that match this this query. Uh, part check three point zero. It is a it is a, it is a corpus that contains stenographic protocols that record the Chamber of Deputies meetings held in the seventh and the, the eighth term. Uh, the, the, the data set contains the protocols in HTML format, in special Parla Clar and TEI format. And this data set uh, contains not only 
the documents, the stenographic, uh, stenographic protocols, but audio rec recordings as well. And uh, this corpus, uh, we use uh, UD pipe tool and name tech tool to, uh, to annotate it syntactically, or morphologically, in other words, part of speech classes, syntactically, uh, subject, object, uh, predicate, and so on. And also, uh, the, uh, we using name tag tool, we add uh, name entity, entities, and name entity annotations. Uh, here you can see that this corpus was issued uh, last year in May. In total, it contains uh, uh, one, uh, 154,000 uh, utterances or speeches, more than uh, almost one and a half million sentences. Uh, let's see. More than 22 million words and more than 3,000 hours of, of speeches. And uh, they, they are files you can download. So one of so some of them corresponds to different formats. So annotated in TEI, un, uh, in HTML. Here are the audio files and, and so on and so on. And perhaps uh, if uh -huh. there are named entities, uh, could it be used for some analysis? Uh, I don't know how often which member of parliament uh, has spoken in there or something like that. Yeah, great, great idea. And I would be happy if you are interested. It's a very nice use case. And if there is anyone to uh, would uh, is if there is anyone who wants to uh, analyze the data, let me open the corpus in Tatok because it's available in Tatok as well. I illustrated uh, the, the 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 that using Tatok you can you can explore Prague dependency tree bank, but using uh, Tatok you can explore uh, explore Parcheck as well. Uh, here they, they are very basic characteristics of the corpus. And let's browse, uh, let's browse the document. And for example, let's uh, filter the data using the sitting day. I don't know, for example, February, the 10th of February last year. And here you can see a, a list of seven stenographic protocols. And uh, let's click on them. And uh, here you can play the audio, audio, audio. You cannot hear it, or can you hear? Can you hear it? If, if uh, not really, uh, not really. Okay, so you can hearing. you can do it yourself. You can you can uh, you can uh, play it play it yourself. And here is the here is the here is the protocol. And uh, you can see that uh, the, the automatically uh, assigned annotations, uh, morphologic, both morphological and syntactic. And here down, uh, there are named entities. And if you click on, on this title, so then you can see the, 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 the entities recognized using uh, the name tag and they are uh, highlighted right so uh, so uh, for example here date organization what else name so it already classifies it i yes. mean that yes. it's some name of person or some institution or town yeah it, yeah it it uh, first it detect entity where it starts and where it ends and then uh, uh, classifies it into into the categories, and even more, you can see uh, that uh, you can. There are links into the members of parliament's uh, profiles. 
So the 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 the, the data set is uh, is is interlinked with other data source or with metadata about the members of parliament. And that's that's the information that we can get uh, or we can see or we can uh, uh, we can read uh, directly from from uh, from TikTok. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And even more, the, the, the audio files are aligned with, with transcriptions, with, with, the, with the protocols. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's useful, for example, for the training of uh, systems of automatic uh, speech recognition. So that's the that's the the, the corpus of uh, of stenographic protocols, and uh, definitely in 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 the digital library of the of the Chamber of Deputies, there are more data going back to the history. So our plan is to compile all the data into 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 corpora and uh, making uh, them available in, uh, for example, in, in TATOC. Not only for searching, but also for experimenting, so you can upload, uh, upload this data set from, from Lindup. If, if, there are, if there are no comments or questions, Thank you for your attention and uh, see you next week. I will be speaking about machine learning. Uh, it will be introduction to machine learning uh, to, to introduce you terminal, basic terminology and uh, basic idea of what's going on when we are saying that we train a model and why we need data, why we need gold, gold data and and so on. And I'm looking forward to your to your essays <laughs> or your text on uh, on data sets and, and their, their met metadata. Okay, so thank you and goodbye and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.